Today we're going to go over the mesh curtain warm up. So first we are going to create a box. All right guys, so for the first part, mesh curtain, create a rectangle. That's not hard to do, right? Let's fill that rectangle with a color. I'm going to go with this burgundy that's over here if I have my swatches. Sometimes the swatches go away, so I go to default print swatches and it should bring up my print swatches panel and then I just choose from there. Here we go. Burgundy. I'm actually going to take all these and throw them into my swatches so that I have them available. Great. Alright, so we've got a nice burgundy like a red velvet. Um, I'm then going to use the mesh tool. Now, guys, with this mesh tool, you're going to put the meshes along the top edge. All right, along the top edge of this curtain. All right, don't make the mistake of accidentally getting down here because then you're going to add twice as many meshes. To get rid of a mesh, you hold down the Alt button. You see that cursor change from plus to minus? That allows us to get rid of a mesh, but it's going to get rid of the mesh in all directions. All right, so I'm continuing to add along this top edge. Just kind of random, doesn't have to be perfect, just like a curtain is not perfect. All right, good enough. Now what I'm going to do is these are each individual points. All right, make sure that your fill is in front, not the stroke. All right, not the stroke active, but the fill is active. So I'm going to take these points, and I'm going to I select the top and the bottom one. And we're going to be making them black. All right, if I make it black right now, we're going to have a problem. All right, um, Izzy already noticed this, that the stroke was in front, so you couldn't fill this in. So what you have to do is you have to make sure that the fill is active and change the fill of these two points to the color that I want, which is black. All right, that black is not bad, but it's not the best. So I'm going to select again every other one, selecting this one, selecting every other one. So I'm leaving that one red, selecting this one, holding shift as I do it. So I'm adding to the selection. Shift, shift, all right, and now these last two, and then as I look at this for a second, I'm going to press the black, and there we go, we have black. This black is not the best black, though. What I like to do is I like to go ahead and make sure that the color is set to 100% black in all of the C, M, Y, and K, and I do that by going to show my options. Usually, it's not it's not showing so I show my options for CMYK and then you can bump up the amount of um, color in each of those categories with the sliders now what I'm going to also do is as I have these selected I'm gonna press down because these points are all selected I can move these points independently right now that gives it a little bit of a kind of a wavy look to it like a curtain itself now I can do a little bit more with that play around with it, maybe mess with the handles, all right, to give it a little bit more variety. This, I know, is not the right black. And in fact, I like this black so much, I'm going to click and drag my fill into my swatches, and now that true black is going to be in there, so I can use it forever. All right, mess around with this. This is the mesh curtain. When you're done, um, save this in the artboard, mine is off to the side right now, save this as your last name, first initial, mesh uh, curtain, not mask like this one is.